speaking up for Texas moms and babies. Maternal health advocates say the state must do more to prevent mothers from dying during and after pregnancy. A recent Texas Maternal Mortality Task Force report found most pregnancy-related deaths are preventable. They think better care would have had a good to strong chance of preventing 60% of the deaths in 2012. Community leaders tell Melanie Torrey it's a problem that should concern everyone. With the start of the 2019 session, women's health advocates say now is the time to address the growing number of Texas women dying during and after pregnancy. This is affecting a lot of moms across the state and a lot of moms of all different types. The Circle Up group of United Methodist Women invited experts, lawmakers and mothers to talk about the issue and how to fix it. Data shows it's a problem that disproportionately affects women of color. Black women in the state of Texas Texas are 2.3 times more likely to die, uh, both at birth and uh, during that postpartum period within that year. Dr. Michelle Roundtree from the University of Texas at Austin says the data can't be refuted. Women are most vulnerable to dying 42 days after giving birth, which is also when their Medicaid benefits end. Extending that Medicaid period through that first year allows mom to go to her well-connected um, visits with the physician, uh, making sure that she's assessed for postpartum depression. Along with extending and fully funding Medicaid, priorities include enacting implicit bias training in hospitals and teaching medical teams new protocols to better recognize and treat maternal hemorrhage, hypertension, and opioid misuse. Everyone in their life has a mom, is a mom, knows a mom. It's affecting the women in your life and we should be taking care of them and so we really hope that people get involved and let our lawmakers know that we want them to pass legislation that's going to help the moms that we all love. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News.